Uh-huh, honey. Real talk, TMI. Too much information? Never. <laughs> In our evolving world where information overload is real and digital overwhelm is a result of our decision fatigue, I feel so called to share what some might say is TMI and others might say is not enough information. So, I am a lady that is connected with my cycle with Mother Nature, otherwise known as your menstrual period. So, as I've learned through the hard way over the years, one of the most natural ways to release and make space in this time of the month is to use menstrual pads. Now, as a sustainable living advocate, I am constantly looking and searching for brands that align with my core values, that are connected to Mother Nature, that are good for the planet, and healthy for our bodies. Now, through research online, it's very easy to quickly learn that advertisements are created to pull at our heartstrings and could sometimes be seen as biased. So I'm always looking at things with a critical eye, taking trust as a very sacred connection and learning and ingesting information with a grain of salt, really understanding what is this and having a critical lens when purchasing things. When looking at the shelves in the feminine care section, I was overwhelmed by the variety of options and I was happy to see that there was a variety of organic options. Now, I am a sucker for lavender. So when I saw a packaging that had beautiful lavender on it, I was immediately drawn to it. And when taking a closer look, I was comparing and contrasting all the different things. I was looking for something overnight with wings. And although the one with the lavender was a bit more expensive, I decided to buy it. And on the back, I did notice that there was a a note with a signature, but I thought it was a testimonial. And I thought it was bold that they put testimonials on here. And I just decided to buy it. And it wasn't until I was home opening up the product that I took the time to read. Now, I just dropped it, so I'm going to pick it up and read this to you because it was so profound. The quote is, I was suffering with bacterial vaginosis for eight months when an ancestor came to me in a dream and gifted me with a vision to heal myself. With her help, I created the honey pot to solve what other brands wouldn't through the power of herbs signed by the founder made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas because it takes one to know one. Wow. And this is on the side of their package. They also have some language that says comfortable, confident, clean. And it says plant-derived feminine care on the front. And as somebody that has been studying herbs through intuitive herbalism, I was drawn to this. The side also says rest easy, rest confident. I love the confident component. And it has the simple ingredients right on the side. Organic comp- cotton, lavender oil, aloe, rosa flower water. 
and the last ingredient menthol now i did not look at this package in detail in the store it was only after i got home sitting on the toilet reading it as i was preparing to put the panty liner in my undies before bed and i think it's beautiful that they're advocating for us to make peace with your period but i think the biggest thing is that stuck with me personally as someone that's very intuitive and connected with my spirit guides is that an ancestor came to her in a dream and gifted her with this vision and i think it's so beautiful that she's speaking to this and the core message of her branding she's not only sharing that she experienced this through her personal challenge and wanted to share her solution with the world but how this gift came from her and it's beyond her knowledge it was a gift from an ancestor in a dream like seriously wow so this gives me immense gratitude to all of our ancestors to appreciate all of the gifts that have brought us here to this moment and to also appreciate our dreams and that sleep is so sacred and important and that we must rest to learn and recover and when we tune into that magic we can feel and connect with what is it that our purpose is why are we here and what are the gifts that we have to deliver to the world so a moment of pause to feel this immense gratitude for our ancestors and everything that brought us here to this moment Thank you, time. Thank you, space. I trust that we are all in the right place. Now, because this specific product that we're talking about today is infused with mint, lavender, and aloe, it is an herbal pad. And I just want to say for all my my ladies out there that are are interested in these products or looking for the right product for them, trust your body. What does your body need? Do you need a cooling sensation? Do you need extra care down there? Then turn to herbs over pharmaceutical medicine before you have something going on. So that preventative care, that feeling with your body, that intuitive nature Now, for someone like me that's just interested in herbs but doesn't have an actual physical need for this herbal healing, maybe pump the brakes. Maybe slow down. Notice how the marketing pulled me in. I did not have a need for this, but I felt drawn in because I love lavender, so I needed to buy it. And upon putting this pad in my underwear... Immediately, I felt a cooling sensation and I was freaked out. And I thought, oh no, am I allergic to this? What's happening? What happened? The monkey mind goes wild. So luckily, I went to the Honeypot Company website. And on their FAQ page, they have a whole section about their herbal pads. And it said, is a cooling sensation normal? And they said, yes, absolutely. That is The main intention of this product is to help provide a cooling sensation to those that might need it in their time of the month. I thought that was amazing. And then the second question was about a reaction. I'm having a reaction to this. You know, what do I do? Stop using the product immediately. And here I am wondering, am I having a reaction or... Is it just a cooling sensation and I'm really in my head? So, sounds like I was really in my head. So I kept the pad on overnight. I still have the pad on, which is why I felt called to record this right now. Because I think it's so strange to me to have a cooling sensation down there. And I told my mom like in panic. And she was like, Jamie, I don't know what you're doing. I've never... (laughs) wanted or have had a cooling sensation down there like good luck (laughs) so wishing luck to all of my ladies out there and our honey pot honeys to have a wonderful cycle ahead and to 
be open to your body to notice what is your body feeling? What does your body need? Is it a cooling sensation or should you save that for when you really need it? Because that being said, as magical as herbs are, with anything, too much is too much. So save the magical powers of Mother Nature for when you truly need it. And appreciate it in the meantime. That being said, I'm so grateful for the Honey Pot Company sharing their journey and how they were inspired by their ancestors as this gives me confidence to continue connecting with my spirit guides and openly sharing my journey with universal life force energy and the creator because it's magical, it's truly divine and it's something that we should openly share and speak about because that is how we will continue to enlighten the path forward for others. So thank you to everything that brought us to this moment. May we continue having deep conversations about our human bodies. And for those of you that thought this was TMI, I appreciate your presence. And for those of you who thought it wasn't enough information, please send me a message as I look forward to continuing the conversations. With love, light, and blessings, namaste.